everyone, and welcome to the first part of a series from Arrow Racers, in which we will demonstrate how to design a rudimentary wheel system for the F1 in Schools competition. For this tutorial, we're going to use SolidWorks 2019, but it is likely that these techniques will also be applicable in previous editions of SolidWorks. That said, let's begin. A wheel system is comprised of three parts, the axle, the bearings, and the wheels. If I slide the wheel off, you will see that there is a small cap on the axle holding the bearing in place, and on top of the bearing, we place the wheel. The first part we are going to design is the axle. So let's go to File, New, click Part, and select OK. I'm going to start by sketching the right plane. So I will right click on the right plane and select Sketch. I will take Circle. with a diameter of 5 millimeters. Which will represent the diameter of the axle. Then I'm going to go to Features, Boss Extrude, and type in 18.75 millimeters. Hit Enter. Great. Next, to create the cap, I'm going to need to create a new plane. To do that, I'm going to select Reference Geometry, Plane, and specify the end of the Boss Extrude feature as its first reference. Then I'm going to flip it and offset it by 3.25 millimeters. Hit Enter again. Great. Now I'm going to sketch this plane. I'll take a new circle, concentric to the first one, and specify its diameter to 7 millimeters. I'm going to extrude it. by one millimeter, I'm going to hit enter. Great. Now I'm going to hide this plane because we're no longer going to need it. I'm going to add some fillets. I'm going to apply them to the edges of the cap. I'm going to type in 0 0.5 millimeter as their radius. Now all that's left to do is mirror this body to the other side. So I'm going to hit mirror, select this face as the mirror face, and then click on this body. Hit enter, specify the material for the axle. So I'm going to right click on material, edit material, and then select ABS. Control S to save. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.